So back to men's singles and the number 15 seed Kanichi Targo up against the Indian player AJ Jayaram. Yeah. Well, that's interesting. Kanichi Targo said he wants to serve. Would have thought in this arena, Morton, with the drift in the hall. And... But players would automatically want to cho choose which end they started, but obviously not the case with the 22 year olds from Tokyo. He's a confident young man. Yeah, he is, isn't he? Uh, world ranking of 18, number 15 seed though. And last year at the World Championships, he was the number 12 seed. Lost in the second round, but did reach the last 16 back in 2009. And there you can see his win-loss record for this year, nine and six. It's positive, but one would expect a player that's seeded 15 in the World Championships to have a rather better win-loss ratio for this year. But I should just explain that, of course, the world rankings are done on a rolling 12 months, week by week. And perhaps he's struggled in 2011. He's only reached two quarter-finals. That's his best performance so far this year, both in Malaysia Super Series event and a week later at the first ever Premier Super Series event, the Korean Open. And apart from that, since then, he's really struggled a little bit as the 22-year-old. So, 23 years of age is AJ Ajayaram. 35 in the world rankings. And just a positive win-loss record for the year. Well, quarter-finalist at the Swiss Open. And apart from that, in 2011, AJ has lost in the first or second round of every other tournament. But that's misleading, because I have to say that he's had some very good results. He's gone to three games against Lee Hyunil. That was in the Malaysian Grand Prix Gold event. In Thailand, he took the reigning world champion. Change in to three games. 21-18 in the deciding game. And in Indonesia had a tough old match against Peter Gaeta, who ended up a beaten finalist of that Indonesian Super Series event. So our match officials. I have to say that the match officials, a whole army of them here in Wembley and all generously giving up their time to come and officiate at these World Championships. But of course, for the court officials, Morton, it's also a great status thing to come to these major championships. Yeah, they, they form clubs and they yeah. you know, travel the world and, and all that. So uh, they have great friendships across the borders, I think. They, they really do enjoy these championships. Yeah, indeed, and rightly so. All the umpires get graded and you've got to reach a certain level of competency. Oh, yeah. To get to officiate at these particular events. So Kanichi Targo, well, gold medalist at the Asian get, uh, Championships, Junior Championships that was back in 2006, and then silver medal at the World Junior Championships in New Zealand, lost out to certain Chen Long that you and I were watching Just a little earlier. Yeah. What a big upset that was. Chen Long, the number five seed, going out to Kevin Corden of Guatemala. So that's the big story, the big upset of the day so far. So far. But this should be an interesting match. It can be a very good match. Japan. It can. And on my left, Ajit Jayana. India. <laughs> Kenny Chicago to serve. Level play. So Kenichi Targo of Japan. Well, 
So he no said that. Questioning his ability when he reached love. the final of the All England Championships last year. Lost out to Lee Chong Wei, the current world number one in the final. But what a sensational tournament he had in Birmingham a year ago. Quarter final, love. he beat Chen Jin, who, of course, as we've already said, is the reigning world championship champion. Semi final, he disposed of Bao Chun Lai. Himself a world championship medalist back in 2006. One, two. What a wonderful, wonderful tournament he had. It's, it's amazing. I, I've, I think I watched Targo play. Um, I don't know. Suleiman Cup. I remember you and I commentating on him in in Glasgow. I saw him in Sweden, where he beat uh, Janu Janssen and he beat uh, Peter Mikkelsen, and those two players were mine. So I was coaching against him, and. Uh, we all said this is this is a really really good player coming up from Japan, and and he proved my point. But somehow, I think there's too few and far between the good results. I think you you mentioned correctly what a fantastic All England he had last year and all that. But I I think you know talent obligates, and he's got such a talent. And I'm, I'm sort of looking for him to be a constant top ten Seven, player, at least. Four, two. I, I expect more from him, to be honest. Yeah. Well, you know, it's got to be pointed out, number 12 seed at the World Championships last year, number 8 seed at the Asian Five, Games in Guangzhou two. at the end of last year. He lost in the last 32 of that, mm. the last 32 of both those major events. Come the major events, he's now seeded. He's expected to win, and he's he's not actually performing. And, and this emphasises your point, I think. Uh, that's, that's what I'm trying to say, yeah. is that uh, Three, I, I expect more. I think he's a fantastic player, and he moves so well. Plays good shot, and he's calm, and he, he's clever in what he's doing. But somehow I need this, <clears throat> I want to win. Yeah. I know exactly what you mean because he's he's almost so laid back on court. He doesn't show the the, the passion and the desire. It's yeah, yeah. But there, there's so many ways. I'm not saying there's one uh, right way and one wrong way. But but I'm just saying I think he's so well balanced and can do so many things. And I just expect more. Yeah. I, I was coaching against him in Singapore. Six, three. Yeah, Janu Janssen was uh, playing him and uh, we beat him easy, two sets. Yeah. And that was the first time in, in six encounters that Jan was winning and we beat him easy. Mm. Well, I remember back to the Sudderman Cup in Glasgow when you and I were commentating on Targo, mm. and you said, now, Jill, who does he remind you of? And his style of play, his hitting action, I immediately said Taufik Hidiat. You know, and it's interesting that he's, since I've, I've learned that he regards Taufik as his, his idol. His idol, yeah. It's especially on the, on the backhand side. Yeah. What about this Indian player, 23 Five, years of age, six. doesn't turn 24 until the end of September. And a world ranking of 35, but India is very much an emerging nation in the world of badminton. Of course, so much focus on Saina Nawal, the women's singles. She's been up as high as number two in the world rankings, but you know, there's a former great Indian player. Kulala Gopichan, who's now the head coach, and my goodness, he does seem to have made a difference with the Indian team. Yeah, it's, um, India has always been a, a very good uh, badminton Eight, nation, that had a huge interest in badminton, and is following it. The, the nation is really into badminton. But uh, they've had a dry spell for, for some years. Uh, Gopichan won the All England here in 2000, I think, something like that. But apart from that, there's not been many. And uh, as you say, there are quite a number of Indian players coming up now. And uh, I think they have five or six um, men's singles players at, uh, at the same level. Yeah. And they're all sort of fighting to break through. 
and AJ is obviously one of them. Seven, yeah. seven, Another one, of six, course, in the draw eight. is Kashyap Parupali, yeah, who won, won a bronze medal at the and One of the games. players I, I work with is uh, Anand Pavar. He's, he's staying in Denmark for most of his time, and I'm, I'm coaching him. So uh, he's one of those players in the batch. Seven, eight. Isn't, isn't, hasn't an Indian a boys singles player just won a silver medal at the Asian Junior Championships? They have two good juniors. Yeah. A lot of emerging talent. See, that's okay. I, I don't know if you noticed, but I, I think that's laziness of, of Targo. I, yeah. I really think, you know, it, it was a perfect opportunity Seven. to get around it and get the attack. Nine, and what does he do? Turn around and play a backhand. Yeah. Nine, seven. Just long and a four-point advantage on. at the mid-game interval to DJ JRM. Goodness me, what good judgment! <laughs> A little bit softer, man. Is that? And also, when you come to that, if you lift the crossbow, be ready for the spin. Crossbow, be ready. Come on, just concentrate. You're not doing do his body now. Put one twenty seconds. Put one twenty seconds. The Indian team, my goodness. Well, he's, he's been around for some years. <laughs> yeah, he certainly has. I, I can remember him coaching at Wimbledon Squash and Badminton Club when he was a player. Where we used to play. <laughs> yeah, he was coaching there sometimes. So we say that, 8 11. That's found the line. Silver, 12, 8. All the way. 13, 8. I know it's still early stages and all that, but but somehow I, ju I just feel that AJ has got more urgency. He's got more will to win. And that's a super angle. 14, 8. So very much take your point, Morton, about Targo overplaying the backhand. He's, he has got a delightful backhand, but because yeah. it's good, yes. he, he overuses it. It does. All the time. And that's, you know, if, if we are going to, to draw a parallel to, to his, his idol, Talfi, it's exactly the same. That's what happened to Talfi. When he, he played better than what he did today, 
he, it, it was the same thing. He was a lot faster on his backhand side. He was getting around and he was really putting some pressure. Now he just goes around, play the backhand, yeah. and that's it. And it's exactly the same. Yeah. in his downward shots, waited for the right opportunity until he'd forced the short lift and then went for the power play. But prior to that, lovely drop shots, variation. I, I totally agree. As you say, very well worked. Oh, so again. It's good. 17-9. See, I, I, I can't remember in this, it's this game, in this game where Tago have actually hit a smash. No. Let's say there's been one or two. But when you look at it and you look at the match, you see that AJ, he's really going for it, he's pushing it, he's attacking, he's trying to really win, get early on everything. So he said that and Tago is just 10, laid back, 18. playing his shots, not attacking not making any changes doesn't really show a care to win i think i know it's possibly a bit strong to say that but it's you know i, I expect so, so much more from him because i know 19, that kind of talent 10. he can play better Not much resistance from the seeded player in this opening game. Ten game points to EJ Jayaram. Uh, oh, I've done it that time. Seviceva, 11-20. He converts. First game won by Aji Jayaram, 21-12. 21-12 confirms the umpire. <laughs> yes, I'm absolutely delighted with that opening game. In the net, in the net, don't flick. Just 13 minutes required. Keep the pressure on him. Well, as far as this young man is concerned, got to do something very different in this second game. He wants to survive this first round encounter.
Second game. So AJ Jaram having taken the opening game 21 12 against number 15 seed Kenichi Targo. Second game. Level. Play. And Morton towards the end of that opening game. You were emphasizing the, the point that you expected more from Targo. And I could One just love. sense a little bit of frustration yes. in your voice. That's a coach <laughs> at work. Yes. What, what, what do you do then as a coach where you have a player that's got undoubted talent and potential? How do you ignite that fire in the that valley? How do you get all. them going? Uh, you know, sometimes I, I ask myself that question. Or not sometimes, all the time. <laughs> but you know, every person is different, and you know what what might uh, kick him doesn't make uh, you know might not be the same for another one. So you, you have to really go in, and you have to find out. You have to learn uh, so much about him, and say, okay, what is making him tick? What is it that makes him tick? And and you have got to find it somewhere. Yeah. Because as I say, you know. If I had a player like that to work with, oh, that would be nice. Yeah. 37, 2, 1. And, and, and possibly it's also because when, when I saw him when he was emerging on, on the international scene and I've seen him the first few years, I think he had more fire. It's not something that he, he's always been like this and it's never, you know. I've seen it. I know it's in there somewhere. Yeah. Three, During one. the uh, women's doubles, Richard and I were talking about Orobka, because mm. of course she's got a very famous mother. Mother, yes. And the same applies, of course, to Targo, because yes. his mother, Yoshiko Yonikura, with Atsuko Tokuda, Four, won a bronze medal at the World Championships in the women's doubles in Jakarta in 1980, twice runners up at the All England Championships. Mm. And he's openly oh. stated that his ambition is to achieve what his mother four. achieved. And okay. I wonder, having made the breakthrough in yeah. world terms, having reached the All England final, whether now he's putting too much pressure on himself to try and emulate okay. what his mother Could did. Be. And, and that psychologically he's dealing, he's struggling to deal with this sort of self-imposed pressure. Instead mm. of being his own man, mm. you know, okay, yep, you had a famous mother, she achieved yeah. wonderful things in badminton. But you're a different person. Yes, uh, it could definitely Five, be like that. Two. And I, I think Marie has, uh, I wouldn't say been struggling on, on the same lines, but you know, having to find herself and, and not be the daughter of, but be herself. Apart from this Six, lack of two. urgency with Targo, is there something tactically that he should be doing different? Yeah, you see, he, he's a very explosive player. And I know that he can really make these explosions from the ba back line, from the baseline, towards the net, but you never see them. It's, it's like he's hanging back. He, he go for one shot. And then he's hanging back Seven, and then he's got to two. play the next one defensive. He's never following up. And, and, you know, I know he can do it. I know he's got it in, the, in his legs. But as, as what we talked about before, it's, it's like, you know, he, he's got them in the back, but he never tired it, tired, and then they, they just jump up again. Yeah. No, and then follow up. No. That's really well played by AJ. Really, really good play. But again, I think that's the match Tiger is playing. He's not playing it really to try to win it. Yes, animated as always, Tom John. Yes. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, well, for AJ Jaram, 
This is Nine, his first two. ever appearance at the World Championships, and my goodness, he's giving it everything. It certainly does. Backhand again. Backhand again. Getting caught on that one and getting caught again. That's a poor rally for a player of that standard. Ten, two. Yeah. And one of the problems, of course, of turning that and playing that backhand, as we quite clearly saw there, your back's to the net. Mm. You've then got to pivot round to mm. face the net again, and that all takes time. It takes and, time. And therefore, you're slow to react to the next shot. Yeah. Precisely yeah. your point. Yes. Played the attacking shot, yeah. didn't follow in on it. Not at all. He's, he's not trying. Yeah. I know I'm, I'm harsh on him, but as you say, I'm, I'm looking at it from a coach point of view and yeah. say, OK, what would I do? How would I go about this if I had a player like this? Because I say, you know, it, it really obligates yeah. the kind of talent he's got. Yeah. But we shouldn't detract at all from the performance of AJ. No, no, definitely not. I think he's playing brilliantly. Yeah. Playing really well. And it's interesting how suddenly a, a nation emerges with, with good results. All you need is one player in the team. And what you and I were talking about earlier in the day, all of a sudden the rest of the team the, the believe it's possible. Yeah, absolutely. And, and I think uh, it could happen to the Chinese team in this tournament because of Chen Long losing. It has got an effect on the team. Sometimes you get some really lucky wins and it just goes to the whole group of players. Yeah. I think last time China yeah. did not lose any matches unless they lost to themselves. Yeah. Where this time this might be, you know, one of the breaks for, for the other nations to say, okay, China lost this one, we can do it. And China maybe is losing a little bit of faith. Yeah. It really so goes in the group. Three, yeah. 11. So despite the fact that we are an individual sport, mm. it affects your teammates, the people you train with. Thank you. Yes, here's the uh, experience shown. Just asking for the court to be mopped, just taking a bit of time, Three, perhaps 11. trying to recompose the thoughts. I, th I think it must be that. And then go. Good defence by AJ, I think. Four, I know he missed that one, but he's been standing very solid. Very well played at the net by AJ. Really Five, well. 11. It's good. It's it's nice to see the, Six, there's definite 11. a change here. Some coach Masuda. A little more pleased with that one. Three. Finish. 
four straight points since the mid-game interval. I'd love to know what his coach said to him. <laughs> You're out of the team unless you get 18. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, unexpected six. angle from AJ. Most players would have gone straight down the line. Yeah, smashing cross court. Good awareness. Seven, seven, seven twelve. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Play. Mm, that's interesting, Umpar. Saying to Targo. Court's okay. Play on. Finish. Play. See, this is much, much better. Much better. Well, whatever he did say, it's had the desired effect. Yeah, and you can see there's more urgency. There's more desire to take the shuttle early, get behind it. Yeah. yeah. Round the headshot, not the backhand. Exactly. Nine, twelve. And now he's really catching up. Surely he didn't go on at the start of this match complacent and thinking that this was going to be... No, no, he can't do that against AJ. No. Uh, he, he's, he's demanding respect. Yeah. Now the gap to just three points. from the front of the court. Okay. It's a really well, it, uh, really well shot, a good shot there. It's unbelievable. I hope he knew what he was doing. <laughs> <laughs> it was a very good shot. Yeah, and he needed that rally because prior to that, Targo had won seven of the last eight rallies since the mid-game interval. Rally. It's getting much, much better. So the server, 10, 13. Finish it. Yeah. Let's go. Pulela Gopichan on the left there as we look at them. It's <laughs> interesting the two different sort of styles <laughs> and characters of the two. <laughs> Indian coaches, one's very, very animated, the other one's very laid back and very quiet. I was talking to Bulala Gopichan a couple of days ago here at the practice session. 13. And he was saying, oh yes, we've prepared very well, we're all ready, we're eager to get Play. going. Yeah. yeah, it's a totally different approach. Steep angle first that did the damage. Oh. 
service over, 11.14. Play. It's okay. Play. Play. Okay. Sorry. Set up with a wonderful net Seven, shot from AJ. 40, 15, 11. That's Look sweet. how it tumbled. Yeah, and of course, to control the lift after your opponent has played a tight spinning net shot like that, you have to wait until the shuttle has come out of the tumble so that you hit the cork first rather than the feathers. Silver, 12, it's 15. interesting to see you now. You mentioned all the good results from AJ lately and how close he has been and, and all that. You know, I'm, I'm sitting here with this taste. Is he... Um, is he losing these match matches because he is getting too nervous, tense? Because I'm not, I'm not, Taku is really doing much better. Yeah. All credit to him. But still, you know, he's had first set and such a lead. And now suddenly, you know, he's one or two wrong shots. And he's now. in complete dire straits. 16, 12. Yes, it's interesting, isn't it? Because there's a big difference from having the real belief that you can beat these top players and just playing well against them and giving yeah. them a good match. Exactly, there's such a big difference. Oh, that's good judgment. Shuttle call long of the back line. Absolutely perfect. Oh, a little well. bit of luck the other way. So that's good for AJ. 12. I think he's got the break he needed. Well, that was extraordinary, wasn't it? That's well struck. I think that shows a little bit of lack of experience by AJ. That that shot is, is not good enough uh, for this level. That's a little bit silly. He should have flicked it, get it away. He knows everyone of standard would cover that net shot. Very good defence there. It's going out. Out. Fourteen, eighteen. Yes, and there's one or two little signs to me, Morton, that AJ is beginning to get, you know, because he's not able to win the rallies just quite as quickly as he did mm. in the opening game, he's getting a little bit frustrated and, and just 18. trying to make it a little bit too special, and that's when he's starting to make mistakes. And it's getting awfully tight. A couple more points here from Targo. Be very interesting indeed. Sixteen, 
shaking. Yeah, and even the body language of AJ at the end of that rally. Uh, he's yeah. tense. Yeah, definitely. But on his uh, sort of defense, AJ, I think he's good. But he's playing a lot of cross-court shots. And he, sometimes he should just block his straight. He's a bit, he's a bit late. Gonna drift wide, and obviously so was Tardos. Two tantalising points from victory. <laughs> tantalising. Watch your commander. Language. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, once again, just trying yeah. to be a little yeah. too yeah. special. Steady, steady, steady. 17, just 19. take it easy. Play the shots. That was good, yes. Had he played the drop shot, he, he would have been dead on that one. Nice clear, one more clear. That's the straight block I was looking for. That was a straight block. It's a very, very good rally. 20, match point 17. And AJ Jayaram of India now has three opportunities to book his place in the second round. the best shot that Targo has played all match. Silva, 18-20. Well, that's one of the three match points that's been saved. <laughs> I think it was a bit quite interesting, yeah. I think Gubijan was saying easy and Tom Jan was saying, come on, push. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure it helps to have a coach at the back of the court that's quite as expressive I hope you add it, as that. Add it back to them. <laughs> that's it's missed it. Yes. And this time, third time the lucky as far as AJ Jayaram is concerned. On his third match point opportunity, he converts. And we've got another upset here on day one of the World Championships. Another seed has gone in the men's singles. This time, it was the number 15 seed, <laughs> Kenichi Tago, beaten by AJ Jayaram. 
delight for a 23-year-old from India. What a great result. He progresses to the second round. There's confirmation of the score. 21-12, 21-19 in 40 minutes of play. Thank you. 